Hello, 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 I'm Andy, and today we're looking at the fuzz controller from Bad Penny FX. So yes, it's a fuzz pedal, so yes, I'm already biased, I love it, but let's find out how much I love it, all right? Um, today's guitar of choice is my Ibanez AZ, followed by lots of numbers, into the fuzz controller, then into my Colt amp by Ace Amplification. That's going into the two notes torpedo live, and then through my computer into your ears. The amp is a Marshall Plexi style amp, so it has that warm clean with a little bit of hairiness to it. <laughs> I guess we just engage the pedal. This is the fuzz controller. This is one of those fuzz pedals that's full and like a like a big muff, so it gives this big woolly sound, but it also rips through like Velcro, like a fuzz face. So you've got this lovely blend of big, big fuzz and still clarity and coming through that, that Velcro rippiness. Uh, it also has lots of switches on it, so we can explore those switches now. Uh, the first one is the starve switch just here, and what that does is it starves the gain to the circuit. So if I if I play it without the starve turned on. <laughs> and then starve it. Let's do the bridge pickup. Turn it off. So it gives that kind of dying battery kind of sound, which I love, and it sounds... Um, not the most useful of sounds, but definitely one of the most fun sounds in um, exploring your own tones. The diode switch switches between an LED clipping, which is what it's on currently, to a 1N4148 diode, which I'm sure we all know and love. This is the difference between the two. So you're hearing a, a severe volume drop. And then to bring that back, you're going to have to set the master a little higher. Or a lot higher. If you were then to switch the diode back to LED, it gets hella loud. So you've got these two different clipping modes. I would like to see the pedal have two different volumes for those modes, just because of that, um, that volume drop. On to the next switch, which is bass. It's a bass cut. And I love this. This gives you this um, kind of Beatles Revolution uh, Abbey Road sound. So it sounds like you're just really giving it so much welly that it can't uh, take the signal from the guitar, which I love. It's, it's not a, a sound for everybody, but it's one for me. I would love to see that on a little foot switch. Like, I'm deep into this pedal. I'm, I'm loving the looks, firstly, and it's one of those pedals that Yes, it impresses your eyes and you think, oh, well, at least I did. Uh, if you have several pedals lined up, people have asked me, what's the one in the wooden box? So uh, it definitely stands out. And I hope that there's more coming from Bad Penny Effects in this style of enclosure. It would be a shame just to have one pedal that looks so different. It's a, a branding kind of thing. But I would kind of like to see a deluxe version of this where all these switches are actually foot switchable. That would be fantastic. It would obviously be a huge pedal, but you know, and, and you'd lose some of the d design. But I really do like the idea of having that like that. Onto the treble, it's a treble cut, so you get nice and woolly. <laughs> Thank you.
on its own, it sounds a bit odd. Sounds broken, which of course fuzzies can and should do. This pedal also comes with a suggested settings card, which also has written on it, um, use with extreme caution when on full volume. I like that in a pedal. Okay, so on the back we've got some suggested settings. Uh, the control function. Let's flip some switches. This one's high gain, harsh clipping, booming conqueror of worlds. Um, can I set that? Am I going to break the amp? Okay. Okay, that's it's got a volume drop. That is synthy, that is beautiful. I am going to try my Chapman because that's in drop C. I like the way the fuzz takes um, multiple notes well. So sometimes fuzzes only take like one note. This one can do chords. I'm going to stay with the uh, the Chapman for a little bit. Let's look at heavily muffled, reduced gain. The room is hazy. So that's these two down, that one up. Okay, that sounds like someone's playing in the room next to me. Again, I'd love to have this foot switchable. I think that would be amazing. I'm not, I'm not talking presets. I'm talking like having these switches as foot switches. Thin, depressing, unusable. All right. That seems like my kind of territory. Gain all the way down. Is that right? Oh, that's everything down. That's my 80s cartoon theme song. Um, I like that. That's not depressing. What are they talking about? Let's go for Ridiculously Loud Cone Killer Extraordinaire. Gain all the way up. Master volume all the way up. Okay. Ooh. I get the feeling that we need to go back to the AZ. Let's roll back the volume on the guitar and see how it cleans up. I'm going to start, I'm going to put this back to something fairly um, non-speaker, breakingly tame. Okay, so that's on 10. Six. Two, three. I do like the way that it cleans up but retains its voice. It doesn't sort of just die off and leave you with a slightly fuzzy tone. You can still hear that big fatness coming through, but it's just letting the clean notes through as well. For me, this is a more set and forget pedal. So you find a sound that you like and you stick to it for the gig. If you do flip the switches, you're going to have to adjust the gain and the volume. However, for studio and for recording at home or whatever you do, this is a very, very versatile fuzz. It doesn't just do one thing, it does many things, but you need to know how and what you're doing. 
So there it is. That's the fuzz controller. Um, it's beautifully made. It smells about an 11 out of 10. And I'm digging this pedal, both sounds and looks. If you want to check it out, there are links in the video description down below. It's time to say thank you to Bad Penny Effects for sending me the pedal and for sponsoring this video. Also, thanks to my patrons and thanks to you for watching. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of this video. So to prove that you did make it to the end of the video, please leave me a comment down below and include the phrase, see a bad penny, pick it up. And then you can add something just there for yourself.